Hey YouTube, Nomad76, uh, rolling on with the uh, part two of the winter prep series. I know for most of us, or a lot of us in the U.S., we've already uh, entered into some uh, winter type weather. So uh, on my last video, I t talked about a vehicle kit, and in that video, I mentioned that it's not an all-inclusive kit. That I have other parts to that kit that uh, I store in other places in the vehicle. So. <clears throat> Excuse me a little bit. I have a little bit of a cold. But uh, before I get into that, I'm just going to touch a little bit on where you should be at. You know, I like I said, the same before. You know, we're already rolling into winter, and some you know some places in the U.S. I'm sure has already got snow. And but touching on you know simple things like additional fuel. Do you have some way to heat your home? Or heat a room in your home if you lose power for a couple of days or worse a week or longer do you have an alternate light source whether it be battery power do you have batteries for it does it have so you're going to be assessing that your situation and then identifying you know your weaknesses identifying your issues your problems and then, and then the next series we'll talk about you know how to address some of those issues so uh, just give me a minute here and I'll show you the uh, one of my other kits that I have in my vehicle. Alright, so here I just got uh, a cheap backpack. Um, I, you know, probably one of those like $15, $20 pipe backpacks at the minimum up front. Just a couple of little cheap uh, first aid kits with the basic first aid, mainly, you know, your, your uh, type that you have with the, you know, kid gets an injury. Uh, a little more extensive here, combat tourniquet, and side pocket where it's easily, easily accessible, a front pouch, um, it's got Kim, Kim like a uh, little Swiss Army knife and a couple of tea light candles and some, uh, just some extra Ziploc baggies. And I've got quite a few of these actually throughout there, but these are just little wet wipes uh, with the antibacterial solution. And then the pouch behind that, I've got probably more masks than I need. This one is from a plastic bag. It's a 2009, just a U.S. Um, Rhodes Atlas map. This one, these are pretty nice. I think I've talked about these in other videos. Um, these are the actual laminated. This is for the state that I'm currently residing in, Washington State, and it's a nice folded, laminated, weather-resistant type map. And then on top of that, I have a nice topographical, hopefully I can get all that in there, yep, um, <clears throat> Washington map. So this one covers all of it, all the backwoods, national forest, so on and so forth. And then... I just got one emergency road flare. It could be used for emergency road flare or even uh, starting a fire with so, I'll get into the main pocket here in just a second. Okay, so out of the main pocket, just a you know, flashlight, some extra batteries, communications, two-way Motorola, FRS, radios with batteries here in the front pocket, spare batteries, so ready to go there. A small little fire starter kit, just a homemade fire starter with uh, dryer lint wax, paraffin wax, and a Bic lighter. Got comfort foods like I talked about in my previous video, or I believe I did. You know, a couple packs of the small little beef jerky. In here, just got some, some gum, some clip bars, some other type bars for the kids and stuff. One armory, I had space for it much, so I just threw it in there. Um, that pretty much down in the bottom, I also have a couple extra um, things of water. And then over here, I've got another uh, first aid kit, uh, just some some tape, some extra uh, duct tape, 100 mile an hour tape, and some, some dressing, some larger dressings for uh, I probably got overkill on the first aid department. I could lighten up on that. This is not really a pack that, you know, I, I carry 
it's just, it's just stuffed underneath the seat in my vehicle. Now one other item I have in there is just a pack of some N95 masks. Um, and then, so, this is underneath the seat. Uh, in addition to the vehicle, I'm probably, you know, I'm not going to show you because it's scattered throughout my vehicles, all of them that I have. Uh, I always have another flashlight. This is just kind of a backup flashlight. Um, I have usually each one has a mag light, uh, the large D cell, usually the three cell Ds, and um, uh, other fire starter kits with in a flashlight. Now I might show you that little fire starter kit that I got set up in one of my <clears throat> flashlights. Um, and then first aid kits. All the vehicles have a larger, large style first aid kit in them for, um, you know, from everything from the small scratch to, you know, larger injuries. So anyways, this is just me showing you kind of an, another kit along with identifying, you know, maybe some areas where I need to add a little more snack food in here. I've got one kid that, um, you know, has um, food allergies, so I have to be picky about some of the foods I pick. But, um, you know, I have a decently large family, five people, so if we're all in there, there's quite a bit of stuff I need to make sure we have versus, you know, if it's just you and your spouse or you and a friend or you and, you know, just a three, you know, three people, it's, it, you know, you adjust your kits obviously for what you're, and that comes in the assessment, you know, where you need to be. So, <clears throat> appreciate you watching. This is Nomad76.